Hey guys, what's up? It's Quentin Drew here. Um, I think this is part three now. I'm, I'm going to lose track very soon, guys, so um, don't even bother correcting me at this point. If I mess up on something or say the episode wrong, um, I, there's going to be so many parts to this video, and Coin Mountain's not even looking any better, so um, <laughs> it's going to be crazy. Uh, really, honestly, it's going to be pretty crazy. Uh, so today is June 10th, 26, 2016, yeah, okay, 2016, totally, 2017, can't speak, 2017, June 10th, 2017, um, Saturday, uh, today is busy morning, guys, I woke up at 7 o'clock, went to bed last night at like 4, I'm running on like 3.5 hours of sleep, went to a ton of garage sales, and, um, God, out of focus, there's a, a tote right there and some Goodwill bags. That whole tote right there has 60 PS2 games and PS1 games, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 games in it. Went up to a house, saw the crate there. Um, she's like, the woman who had them, she's like, yeah, my kids don't play them anymore. Um, you know, blah, blah, blah. You can look through them if you feel like it. Took me five minutes to go through just half of them. And she's like, you know what? Don't go through them all. You could have them for, uh, you could have the whole crate. She's like, 10 bucks. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> I, I literally said that. I was like, okay, sounds good to me. You know, I don't usually like to say, okay, that fast, because usually it says that, you know, they're probably giving it away at a really cheap price, which I think she kind of realized it. So, you know, got that. So, all right, guys, um, I'm going to try to knock out as much as I can today of Coin Mountain. Um, it's hot in this room. It's probably like 78 to 85 in here, and the AC's on. 74 degrees downstairs or 72. Um, pretty crazy. Just the whole weather all together. It's really hot. It's supposed to be 90s for the next like week now. But um, yeah, guys, let's get started here. Um, part number three. Um, I figured I'd grab some stuff, and this is probably more um, stuff that I can just get through with really fast. Um, all these are nickels I bought out of the register. Yeah, I know. I said out of the register. Um, they bought a bunch of old nickels, and since they don't sell them, um, this is essentially what they had in the register over the past, gosh, I don't know. No, since 2015, pretty much. Um, so all these are pretty much pre-1959 um, nickels they've had, like I said, they had in the register. Um, there's probably some more in here somewhere. I'd even look. I just kind of grabbed some stuff, really. I was just like, oh, okay, here's a bunch of stuff. I think this is most of it, nickel-wise, at least, when it comes to Jefferson's, but um, I know it looks like a lot, but realistically, I'm not going to show everything. I've got, like, 42s in here, um, 47, 40S, you know, 52DS, you know, uh, 42D. Um, here's a 38S. It's been clean though. Got all this for face value. 38, um, 38D. Oh, there might be a 39D in here somewhere. It's really a whole assortment of everything. Um, nothing crazy. Nothing that needs to be shown off. Um, or I'd be probably bored out of my mind. You guys would probably be bored out of your mind too. No point in showing any of that. But this is worth showing. Um, got a bunch of wheat pennies and start off with this baggie. Somewhere, like I said, I think I said this past video, but somewhere in here I have a really good coin, and wherever that one is, is the coin that I want to put in my book really bad, because it would really help a spot. Because um, a lot of this is like, I bought it thinking I needed it for my book, or just, you know, kind of have it around, because it was a good deal. And over time, I've kind of bought stuff, and I forgot about some of this stuff, so yeah, pretty bad process, I know, guys. Alright, so um, what do we got here? I don't know why I bought this. 1913. Plain. Not worth anything. Um, need to vacuum this carpet. 1918S. Decent condition. Nothing crazy. Um, 1924. Okay condition. Really nice looking 1921S. That's a good coin. I'll pick this up. Reverse is worn. The obverse looks decent. Um, 
16, really nice condition. A 19. I don't want to focus. There we go. 1918. I know it's very faint of a date. And there goes the date in its entirety. Focus. Be nice. Thank you. 1918S. A little corrosion and um, some die cracks. Don't go out of focus. Die cracks. Very nice. And then we got a woody. Uh, this is kind of like a wood grain tone to it. It's something with the mix of the alloys. Kind of has that happen to it. And here's another one. This one's a little darker. Very nice looking. And this is a 1934 with really nice detail on it. This is probably about a five, ten dollar coin. It all depends on people. You know, if people want it, if they like it, then you know, they'll buy it. Five, ten bucks easily with that wood grain trim. Because that's what a lot of people look out for sometimes when they buy wheat pennies. Um, Alright, so there's that. Um, I'm put this back in the baggie here. As I point my camera at the carpet. I know you guys much love my carpet so much. Yeah, I'm still rocking the, um, the car carpet. Only reason why I have this carpet still is, well... First off, it was for making videos, but I didn't want to get this carpet dirty. Yeah, it's just the whole thing. So this is all dark now. It's a lot darker over here than um, some other sections of the carpet. But just a rug, just a rug that worked, and it's decent colors, alive colors more so, more lighter colors. So um, definitely not uh, terrible. Um, okay, next next group here, uh, we got a. Oh wow, that's crazy. I didn't even see that. 1944S. Some insane lamination. Oh my god. That is insane. Probably like a $5, 10 coin there. That is crazy. Um, 1920S. Really nice condition. Wow. Probably closer to a fine. Very nice. 1909. What do we got? 1909 VDB. That's awesome. Five cents. Five cent fine right there, guys. So, got a VDB for five cents. Can't turn that down, that's for sure. Nice five dollar coin, at least. Um, another nice condition. Wheat, 1920. Corrosion, and it's probably an AU coin, honestly, but with that corrosion, uh, yeah, not worth much. Uh, 1932D, very decent date. Oops, 1932D, definitely a nice date. Um, another nice one, 1911, that's in really nice condition. Uh, next one, 1918S. Other than that scratch, I'd say that'd be a nice AU55, like I said, surface dirt. Wow. That's incredible. Incredible. Why did I pronounce it like that? That's incredible, though. Really nice condition. Really nice condition. That's definitely going to go in a 2x2 two two as I drop more coins. 1931. Decent condition. 1927S. Not terrible. Just a good filler date. Really nice looking 1921. Darker, but still a nice coin. 19, 16 in gorgeous condition, very nice one, that's probably more like an XF, VF, XF, next one, 1920 again, look at that detail, it wasn't for that stupid corrosion, it'd be a nice AU coin, next one, 1909, and would you look at that guys, another VDB, and that's probably easily like an $8 coin, not bad at all. Next one. Another wheat. Obviously a wheat. Very nice looking 1924. Lots of detail on this one. Probably could get some acetone on that green and probably get that green right off. Now that I look at it, I'm going to probably going to do that when I'm done with this video. Um, 1931, nice looking coin again. 
1928, nice condition. 1910, in really good condition, if it wasn't for that. Looks like I had some REM problems going on. But God, that's a good fill right there. Really nice condition. 1920 with a clip. I forgot about this. This is a really good coin. Uh, clip Planchet, guys. That's an error. Paid five cents for it, like everyone else. And that is, in fact, a Clip Planchet. That happened at the Mint. And that's very rare to find a Clip Planchet on a Wheat Penny. Especially this old. A little corrosion. Nothing crazy. Uh, nothing some Veritacare would probably take off. Um, which is an all-natural solution that can get rid of corrosion and dirt like that. But um, I'm not going to use it on it yet. Very nice coin, though. Um, next one is another 1909. 1909 VDB. I didn't realize how many VDBs I picked up. That's the third one. That's probably closer to a $10 coin now. Um, next one. So 1933 in decent condition. Uh, next one. Second to last. 1918S in really nice condition. A little woody. And last but not least, a 1933 again. So definitely very nice coins um, in that group right there. Um, I'm going to put the camera down right there, guys. Uh, just so I can put these back in the baggie so I don't have them all over the place. Because I'm putting them I'm putting them to my side just so I can get them out of the way. Um, and I have to go through these again and pop these in some books and stuff like that. So definitely going to take some more time out of my day just doing that. But um, completely worth it. Completely worth it. Obviously, I have to get organized, so I don't really have a choice, do I? Um, next one. Um, this one looks like a mix of silver quarter and some other stuff. And I think I got all this. All this was five cents a piece. And then the quarter I paid. Oh, that's not even a quarter. That's a shilling. My bad. Either I paid melt value, which should have been a few dollars for the uh, shilling. Or I paid uh, a quarter for it. One of the two, regardless, I still got an amazing deal. It's a one shilling from 1930. And I believe these sell for a decent bit. Like, I think in the 10 to 12 or $15 range. I'd have to look on my phone. I don't know. Um, and, you know, maybe I should just look on my phone. Um, see, I got tons of group texts right now. So I'm in a coin group on Facebook with Super Drew. And I keep getting these group chat comments, and gosh, I, I keep thinking I'm getting texted by someone important. But, um, all right, let's see, one shilling. Sorry, I'm doing this on video. I have to do this on video. I, my curiosity is killing me now. All right. Um, I don't know how that looks through the, or through the video. Um. But here it is right there. I use NGC coin. Um, no, they'll use a dollar fifty-seven because it has fifty percent silver. So maybe I picked it up for less than three dollars then. Um, and I use this, like I said, for a lot of it for pricing. It's very accurate. Uh, and I just went back. Oops. Nineteen thirty has the three point one million mintage. Oh, look at that! Would you look at that right there, guys? Nice. <laughs> wow! I didn't realize it's worth that much. Um, it's probably closer to a fine though, VG fine, probably closer to a fine, yeah, fine, um, my guess is probably about $8, I probably could get 10 bucks out of it, yet again, not always about value, it's about coolness, and it's a very nice coin, very, very nice coin, uh, some more mixtures of dates here, a lot of these have this weird, like, toning or coating on them, more of a toning, it looks like book toning, very nice high grade. A lot of them are 33. Um, it's another one. It's a 37D. Next one's a 30S. Next one, a 33. Um, Mr. Corroded here. 1920. I don't know why I bought that. Decent detail though. Another one with book toning. 30D. Lots of detail. Lots of detail on these. 34. 1920, more detail. You see a common repetition here with a lot of 1920s, don't you? 34D, that's a good date. 
we'll find many of them. Uh, 34, that's probably borderlining AU, high AU. Might actually even be luster, really. Very gorgeous coin. I should be touching this one by the sides. Very nice. Um, 1937S. Uh, 1930, or 29D, not bad. Uh, a little corroded here. 1924, lots of detail right there. That's like book quality, even with the corrosion. Uh, next one's so a 30D, decent condition again. 1921, decent condition. A very gorgeous looking 1930D. It's probably in the high AU, maybe even an MS60 grade. Next one, a little corrosion, but 1930S. Lots of 30s here. Uh, 36. Uh, 1933, 1920D, and last but not least, a 1937D in really nice condition, other than the reverse. But you see, when I touch it, kind of just surface dirt on it. So a lot of these need to take a microfiber cloth too and just kind of rub it off. Um, it's not bad for it. I'm going to put my camera down again. Um, we'll face it that way. Um, it's not bad for you to touch coins necessarily of lower value like these um, without touching them like by their sides because that's the proper way of touching them. Um, but realistically, I don't care too much about some of these. Like it's not like they're worth like, you know, 25, 30, 40, 50 dollars or anything crazy. I mean, silver I usually touch by the sides, but you know, it just all depends really. Like I said, it all depends on value for me. That's me personally. Collectors will tell you elsewhere, or elsewhere. They'll tell you otherwise. They'll be like, oh, don't be touching that without touching it by the sides and all that stuff, you know. If someone hands me a raw coin, I always touch it by the sides, though, out of respect. Because um, you never know, really. And it's just, it's just respectful, you know. So, um, next one here, guys. We got some really nice buttes in this one. Um, I'll show that right there. Okay, perfect. All right, start off, guys. Some really nice book pieces here. 1919S, light scratches, but probably going to replace... Uh, I don't like that, Nick. Probably going to replace one of my book temporarily. Not terrible, though. Uh, look. Oh, look. Would you look at that, guys? 1920. Really decent condition. That's probably closer. I think this is the one that I was thinking about. Well, not the value, but one of the ones I was thinking about a little bit before. Other than these scratches on the reverse, this coin would probably be pulling an MS61, if that, and a little bit. Eh, really, honestly, it's probably an MS60, honestly. I'd say she's just borderlining. If anything, she's AU58. Yeah, that's definitely like an MS60 grade, at least. It's going in a 2x2. Two two. Really nice 1917 right here. Scratch though on the reverse, nothing crazy. 1916D, nice condition. 1925D, decent condition. With a rotated reverse, like a lot of these do. Flip that over, it's rotated. A lot of 25Ds have that problem. Very nice looking 1937, still not uncirculated, but has luster on it. And then last but not least, a 1919 with mint luster on it. But of course, it's scraped. Still, definitely, probably an AU58, because there's a little hint right up there. Um, actually, um, yeah, I don't know. That might actually, well, i say that's probably an AU58. Probably another nice coin right there. Um, what do you mean, probably another nice coin? What am I saying? Probably, yes, yeah, probably another nice coin. No, it is another nice coin. Um, just nothing of crazy value, like I said. But very nice. Uh, of course, if it was not damaged, that would probably be closer to a $10 coin. Um, if not, $10, probably even in the 20s, if anything. But probably more like 10 or 15 realistically speaking. So definitely not bad. Um, and because I don't want to make this video, guys, um, an all-set coin uh, video, I will mix a little bit up here. 
Um, I'm gonna grab something random here, guys. So let's see. Eyes closed, eyes closed. I'm gonna grab this. What do we got here? That's not good enough. Eyes closed, eyes closed. I'm gonna grab this. Um, yeah, uh, that's not good enough either. Um, eyes closed, eyes closed. That's not good enough either. Um, eyes closed. I don't, I don't want to make it sound like there's nothing good in here. Actually, I'm not going to be eyes closed. Um, we'll do... Oh, that's going to be for another video. Um, you know what? We'll do this one, guys. Nothing crazy, but nothing, you know, terrible either. Um, got four coins in this one. And this one here, start off by saying, that's a 1979 Susan B. Anthony I paid $1 for, guys. They were going to put this into the bank... or put this in the bank. They were going to exchange it at the bank, okay? Copper clad Susan B. Anthony is not really worth much, but that's the near date right there, and these are worth about 20 bucks. Near date is very close to the rim, um, like barely even touching, um, or it's a wide rim or something. I don't know what it was exactly. You'd have to Google it completely. I don't remember off the top of my mind, but if the date's closer to the rim like that, um, it's about, you know, probably closer to a twenty dollar or so coin not bad at all for a dollar um, oh look a 1920 1920 P as they had it marked marked as an XF that's gonna be high uh, AU no it's not that's gonna be an MS 63 brown at least very nice coin I'm gonna have to take that out of the 2x2 two two. heck I might even have to grade this one it's so nice wow I even noticed this was even in here. Actually, I'm not going to have to grade it. I'm going to put it in my book. It's going to be the nice replacement for my book. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. I know the pay the video doesn't do justice, but if you can kind of see that, it looks amazing. Um, 49S, uncirculated. Another nice one for my book. And last but not least, i got to do more history on this one, guys. Let me know what you guys can find out about this, but this is a Bulgaria 1331 to 55 AD. I don't know. Ivan Alexander Mitchell, Michael, Michael. Uh, a silver groshi, 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 groceries. What? Did you hear something? Groceries. I don't know. Um, very thin silver. Um, I don't know what the value on this. I can't really find too much about it, but it's very thin silver. I think I paid like five dollars for it. Very, very weird coin. So worth the $5 I paid. If I tried, I probably could break it in half. But, obviously, I'm not going to be that stupid to destroy almost 800-year-old history. Now, if it was a 1964 quarter, that would be a different story. But, obviously, it's not going to happen. Um, anyways, very interesting, weird, tiki-looking... I don't know. I really don't know. It looks like a plant there or something, and... Reverse is raw versus is kind of like I don't know. I really don't know. Very unique. Looks like faces for a second. I don't know. Great right there. Unless I'm going crazy. I don't know. I don't know what's supposed to be like a mango tree or something. Pot leaf? No. Star starfish? I, I don't know. Something like that. All right. Anyways, so there's that, guys. Before my foot falls asleep and I lose all blood and get paralyzed from the legs down. Um, I'm going to end this video um, with uh, thanks guys for watching, and uh, this was part number three, and I can't say much more. Awesome finds. Um, guys, it will definitely get better if you guys are bored. Um, at this point, there's a lot of good stuff here. There's some coins in here that are worth five cents. There's some coins in here that are worth a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars, hundred dollars, I, there's maybe a few in here that are even in the three to five hundred dollar range that I paid next to nothing for. So that's that, guys. That's probably gonna be for the last episode. It's probably gonna be the good stuff. And uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Happy hunting. Take care. See you guys later.